Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Cloudy ML and this is Akash. So today I am gonna discuss with you a interview question asked to me in Python round of Tiger Analytics. So the question goes like this: Write a program to find the least positive integer missing from a list of input integers. So let me make it more clear. So suppose you have a list of numbers. So the all are integers. so it's like uh, this is a sequence now you need to find the least positive integer so positive number starts from 1 right now 1 minus 1 2 3 so 4 is missing here we can see that similarly here we can see that the least positive number missing is 1 so 2 is missing 1 is missing 4 is missing 5 is missing so many positive integers are missing like till infinity but the least positive number missing is here is 1 and here it is 4 why because 1 2 and 3 are present in this sequence sorry not in sequence in this list okay now let's understand how to approach this problem okay let's go just a second so one thing is very much clear if you see intuitively the least positive number in this set which could be missing would lie in the range of 1,2,3,4,5,6 meaning the length 3 3 6 39 okay it is still nine only so least positive number missing would be any one among this only it can't be 100 right because the length of sequence is not 100 right even if the 100 is present here let's suppose 100 is there but it first of all it's not the least okay so um, in this like uh, 3 3 6 3 so if 100 is present that means any of any one of these number would be missing and that would be the least positive number missing from this sequence i hope this point is clear i will reiterate the least positive number missing from any sequence would be starting from 1 till the length of that particular sequence right so what give let's say one more example if 500 is present okay so 500 is very high number okay and when 500 is present it is taking up a space right so these two are taking up the space of any numbers which could be missing from this sequence right i hope i am not confusing you guys so the point is uh, 500 is there so in from 1 to 9 i want to find a number missing from this sequence 500 is there that means any number from this sequence is missing because the length remains constant right 9 length is there so we intuitively we need to understand the number missing from this sequence would be somewhere lying between 1 to 9 okay now let's jump to the coding part so i will show you two approaches one is like in the first iteration what i built and again in the second iteration how i improve that solution so let's start for so the, suppose a, uh, a sequence or the list input this is what we got right now i'll iterate through all these numbers for now we have another um, list called comparing list suppose which would be starting from okay let me write like this list range starting from um, 1 to the length of this list right if i need to show you how it looks like so if you see this particular list has become 1234567838336399 okay it needs to be added one here 
okay one two three four so this is what we wanted right now we need to compare for i in list input for j in comparing list now what i would need to do if suppose i am taking this number i right so i can do it like this if i equals to j then guys i am writing this code like right now so it might be bit slow like this is how i will approach a new problem right so if i equals to i'm thinking here itself the this particular question i have not solved it for long i i might have even forgotten how to approach it if i equal to j so i need to remove from this particular list okay so what i will do from comparing list i would remove or what i will do anything like j i hope it works this syntax might be correct okay so if i remove it then let me see what the compare list looks like so 469 right so when i removed the matching element from this list and this list what i found 469 are the numbers remaining now the least number from this would be the output like the first element meaning the list number is my output so this is my output 4 that's what we expected right now the problem here is like my interview told me that it is like uh, n square log so there is something called time of an algorithm is a order of n square right n into n because there are two loops now i he asked me to convert into in the order of n so i started thinking and i did something let me show you how to show you i just remove all the tools okay let's come here copy all the code here so what i will do is from i in for i in list input so i need to have everything solved in a loop okay now what i will do now i have this list also now whenever i is there one is there matching here it needs to remove so what i will do okay let me do this i think it should work so i will go let me show you now let's change it to index right range length so now previously in this loop i was iterating through the elements in this loop now what i am doing i is becoming uh, range length of this number like it will be from 0 to 8 right if you want to see this it will be iterated function it won't show you range 0 to 9 so i will be like 0 1 2 3 like that okay so if that's the case now i need to extract the first element to list put i so list input 0 means this first element 1 okay equals to now i need to put if here guys it may be wrong i will completely change the approach if it's not working equals to um, okay if this equals to i plus 1 so at like zeroth index means for me it is 1 right for, uh, for comparing we are starting from 1 so we, i will say at the first place if the number is 1 what i need to do i need to go to the compare list and remove the element from 
remove i plus one simple i hope it works let's see no it doesn't if list input equals to i plus one means the first index second index the input at the second index is equal to then okay if one can be here also okay okay it won't work sorry it won't work so what i need to do i need to remove this why it won't work like one can be here also right so i9 will be one but this one needs to be removed but it won't be removed because this logic is not proper so i need to change this logic I suppose here it was for example it was 9 so I need to remove 9 from here so what I will do remove. okay this is something I can do if input i is less than equal to length plus 1 then sorry if list is not there what is this giving let me check first minus one okay 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 sorry sorry one more condition is required here and it should be greater than zero right this input i is greater than 0 because it's negative right you see this value was negative so it won't be in the index right so if both the conditions are true again it's giving some error not in the list let me check what is the but I gave two conditions right then only it will come here Okay, I think we are there. Yes, we are there. Now we will use this. First element to get our output. Yes, yeah, so that's the solution. So now you can see here I will use just one loop and I put one small condition. So again, it's in the order of n. So only one loop means it's in the order of n and it's fast, the algorithm will be fast. Here you can't see the difference but if you have used data set, the runtime of this algorithm will be very fast. Here I have used one loop. What I did, so I come, so what I checked, each and every element I checked that if it is lying between zero, uh, 1 and uh, like 1 and the length like 1 to 9. If it is lying between those, if any number like 1 is lying between this, then remove from this compared list. If so, this is not lying in this range. No need. This is lying. This is lying. If there was a number hundred, right? It is not lying. Uh, sorry, in this compared list range, which is one to nine. So it won't do anything. 
and that's why we were getting that error right that element is not found this remove function is giving that error so that element should so that list should have that element for it to be removed so when we remove all the elements so the least possible number is the first element present in this list okay now there is one more problem here this remove function internally has a for loop which goes from i equal to 0 to the length of the list for over which it is applied right why because if i am telling from a list remove a number whose value is 3 so it will search the entire list and find the first occurrence of 3 and remove it right so it has to iterate through the entire loop so that's why it's uh, it's a for, it, there is a for loop internally implemented and its order is n so there are in total one loop two loop okay so after doing this i was very happy that i have solved it but the interviewer told no there are still two loops and in the first approach uh, like there were actually three loops first loop second loop and th third loop so then i started to think more and implemented another approach i will show you just now so what i did so i will just show you this thing compare list so its value is 1 to 9 now what i am doing i am trying these numbers kind of represent an index right 0 to 9 like it's in its index is 0 its index is 1 its index is 8 right so what i am trying to do remove uh, instead of remove i will get this index right minus 1 so suppose if i have to uh, find the number at uh, like this number is 1 right so this number is 1 so i will see its location in this list what it will be it will be at 0th index so 1 minus 1 equal to 0 so it will find this element i'll make it to 0 okay now if suppose this value is 3 and 3 minus 1 is 2 right so in the compare list at the 2th index i have the value 3 so i will make it 0 so this is something i would like to do here right now if you see the compare list all the values which are present in the input list and in the compare list have become 0 now i need to figure out this number right so i will write another loop now it won't be nested loop right i will write it here itself for i in again this i in this i it will be different it's not like this i will be confused with this i let me write it k for simplicity compare list okay if k not equal to 0 then print k right let's see and let's break it also so what will happen essentially so one loop okay order of n now loop is not here i am directly getting the indexed value of that element which and i am making it is 0 now what I am doing, I am iterating through this loop is from starting, wherever 0 is there, let's go, let's go. Whenever the first non-zero elements come, non equal, print that value, that is our output and break the loop. So that's how we um, uh, optimize the solution from n cube, like 3 nested loops to 1 loop and to the order of n. Again, this loop don't get think that this loop is a uh, n square. So this is another loop and this is another loop and so it can be told like the order of this algorithm is 2n and 2n if you see the terminology it again it's n only the problem real problem happens when the loops are nested but if two loops are separate there is no problem so this solution is the best optimized solution that's it for now guys so there is one more announcement so this is my data science course so it covers everything from scratch if you want to become a job ready data scientist you can learn from this course it covers python sql statistics machine learning deep learning everything from scratch and you have a support team over skype chat to resolve your course related queries so and it's completely practical driven hands-on learning kind of program so you you can learn from it even if you're a beginner you can come and join and Many people like around 30% of our learners are from non-coding, non-tech backgrounds and they are able to learn from this one and get job. So you too can do it. The link is in the description section. Do join the course and do subscribe to the channel. Bye.